how you doing guys and welcome back to the channel and today we have a little project it's nothing intensive or anything like that but it's something that has to be done at least every year um, and uh, I think I'm not sure but I have to check I'll, I'll post it on the description below when I find out but I think it's a hundred or three hundred I don't know for sure but I just I change mine every year uh, and, and, and the start of the season um, so I'm going to go ahead and change it now, and that is the water separator filter right behind me here. I couldn't find the Quicksilver in stock anywhere here local, and uh, but uh, Sierra is not a bad brand, so we're going to go ahead and change it uh, for the Sierra. And um, I'm not going to show you how to take off because all you have to do is screw it on, screw it off. And uh, but there is one thing that everyone needs to know, so stay tuned. So then, if you have the Merc Cruiser 350 Mag MPI, this is the 5.7, and the year is 2004. My part number for a Sierra is 18.7845, and the cross reference for the Quicksilver or the Mercury is uh, 35802893Q, and this says it right there. So this is the equivalent. Uh, for Sierra so we're gonna get ready to install that and of course everyone needs knows knows what to do mine is right under there under the uh, fuel fuel pump and um, all you have to do is just unscrew it and take it out you gotta be careful because there'll be gas in it so you don't want to spill anything in there and then we'll go to the next step of installing the new one in place what you will need is something like this I use this type of wrench. I've been using this one for many, many years for the oil and the fuel filter. So this makes it easier to take off. Okay, so now I'm going to just grab this and turn it. And remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. So don't make a mistake turning it the wrong way. This one's already turning and it's pretty loose. I think I could do the rest with the hand now. All you have to do is just be real careful. Loosen it up little by little. Okay, so there's a little bit of gas, so I'm gonna have to get a, a towel so it absorbs whatever comes out of it. a lot of turning and turning until it just drops down yeah you gotta turn it a lot of times it's not just a few I'm still turning okay okay well it's inevitable but uh, a little bit of gas did drip out it'll stop uh, in a few minutes just keep it upright like this because it's full with gas and we're ready now to prep for the uh, new one so stay tuned and here we have the old one see here's rust it wasn't looking too good anymore but here's the uh, the number right there and that number is also right there so we double checked it now just to make sure we have the right one and now we're ready to prep the new one so we can put it back in place. Okay, what I'm trying to do is just double checking and see if there's any um, water in the gasoline. It looks like it's pretty clean, except for a few little particles here and there, but uh, everything looks really good. Um, so I'm happy that the uh, last filter did work well. So 
but anyway we have a new one on for the new season and um we should be fine for the next uh, year or so okay our next step is uh we're gonna put gasoline fresh clean gasoline into the new filter and fill it more or less a little bit before the top here so that way the gas pump is not going to double work to pull gas from the tank to refill this little canister a lot of people make that mistake and i think that's one of the most important things is to fill this with gas so that way the pump is not going to work double time triple time and, and could even burn out so to avoid all that situation what i do is i fill it with fresh clean gas and then uh, we lubricate this little gasket with a little bit of grease all the way around and then we just put it back on the same way we took it off so you screw it off now you're gonna screw it back on righty tighty all right here we have a this special can it's called a sure can and this makes it much easier to pour the gas in there and you just put this little hose down and then it has a little valve on the top that you just press and, and gas will be dispensed so we're gonna do that next so we can fill the little canister so here we go Yeah, just gotta press a little bit because you'll get too much out of it. Little drops, little drops at a time. And by the way, I'm using ethanol free. That's the only thing I put in that boat. I don't put anything else. The filter takes a lot of gas, believe it or not. See, this is a, as much gas that won't be there when you when you press that um, uh, start button on your boat there is it, the pump is gonna work a lot and it's gonna be dry and you could burn it out and um, all this gas that I'm still pouring in here is missing so you can mess up that pump easily and I'm not saying it probably happens all the time but uh, we're not we're not gonna take any chances all right, we're there. There's a little thing, you just bring it back up and nothing will spill anywhere. Okay. And a little bit that went over the edge here, we'll just dry it down now. Make sure you have plenty of rags around, especially on the bottom. Just to make sure you have something there ready in case you do spill a little bit. You don't have to uh, make a mess, mess of gas everywhere. Now we're ready to put a little bit of grease on the uh, rubber seal. And then we're ready to screw it back on. So here we go. You don't have to put too much, it's just enough to lubricate. You can see it's not lubricated all the way around. And that's all you need. Alright, we're getting ready to reinstall the new one now. Okay, so now we're ready to put the new filter back in place. And you just bring it down to the position. And you screw it back on. Righty tidy, so we're going to the right this time. And it's caught there. I'm turning it. Okay, these are one of the, the items that uh, you hand tight the best you can you don't want to use a wrench on it because if you use a wrench on it when you take it off you're gonna need more than a wrench to take it off maybe you get really nasty yeah how'd that go not well Brian not well so we're back on there I will just make sure I tighten it up well we get a better position here because the this tightness here is really really horrible 
And I think that's about it right there. All right, that looks pretty good. And there it is right there. Back in place and ready to go. All right, folks, that's all it is. And it's just taking it off, putting it back on, making sure you put the uh, gas in there so the pump won't uh, overwork itself when it's refilling it. And uh, basically that's it. So on the description, I'm gonna put how often you need to change it. So I forget offhand, I change it every start of the season since I don't use the boat uh, every single day. Um, I think it's a 100 hours or something like that, but I'll double check for you and I'll put it on the description. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hope it helps you. And if you have any questions, put it on the comment section below. And if you like this video and it helped you, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Peace from the Keys. Now is a great time to like and subscribe. All you have to do is click on the subscribe button below. It's free, and you'll be part of the Keys Boating Channel family. Thanks so much for your support.